we have lots of major projects planned while we have the boat in the yard. And the first one is to pull the motor out, part of which requires some prep work for that, uh, uh, which in this case requires removing the packing gland assembly and the whole prop shaft coupling assemblies from the transmission. And here we are getting, getting started on that. This process also required that we remove a vent line or a water line that comes off the top of the shaft log. And we were always kind of suspect of this part on top. It looked, when we bought the boat, we noticed that it would look real corroded and, and we're, we're uncertain as to whether we should try to repair it with the boat in the water or wait till we took it out someday. And I'm glad we waited because when I tried to pull this hose off, the actual fitting broke. Uh, not just, you know, the hose didn't come off the fitting. It actually broke the metal fitting. It had years of, of, of corrosion that weakened that, that fitting. And you can see here that it uh, was not in good shape. So I'm glad we, we waited until we took the boat out before we, we fixed that. That could have been real exciting if, if, if we tried to do that in the water and, it, and uh, if that had broken. But we continued pulling off uh, the rest of the packing gland assembly. This is the the rubber hose component on the aft half of the assembly. And I just used a, a utility knife to score it here several times and then used a screwdriver to pry the whole thing off. And it, it came off came off pretty, pretty easy, no big deal. You can see here also in this picture the condition of the, the bilge. What you see here on the sides is pretty typical of what the bilge looked like throughout. Uh, a lot of oil, deferred maintenance, oily, um, sooty. There was a, 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 a real bad exhaust leak at the manifold, which was spewing a bunch of soot into the engine compartment. And this is over years, it's collected and made, made an ugly, ugly mess. But this part came off and then we started working on the coupling that joins the prop shaft to the transmission. And the four bolts that hold this part together surprisingly came off relatively easy. Just a, a firm push separated these bolts or loosened them up and came off better or easier than, than we had expected. The more challenging part of this was, was the getting the prop shaft out of the coupling. And we had seen some people uh, try this method that we're going to see here in just a bit and read about this method and it seemed to, to work. I mean, it worked for us, but we didn't really know until after we learned uh, after the fact, after we did this, we learned that you really should take some precautions or maybe pursue, do this a little differently to avoid damaging the actual coupling. The flanges themselves can get bent using this method here. And that's something for whatever reason, we just didn't research enough or uh, just, just, just didn't know. Uh, we missed that lesson somewhere along the way. And what happens here is you have to put in a wedge in between the two coupling pieces and then draw the pieces back together and it'll force the prop shaft out the other end. And I started this process, actually, I think I dropped a wrench down there in the bilge and we have this magnetic wand thing that we use quite frequently to pull tools out of the bilge, at least the ones that are metal. But anyway, we ended up uh, using a a spark plug spark plug socket uh, the real long narrow uh, sockets that you would use on a spark plug we we use that to to force the prop shaft out the back of the fitting which happened you know, just I don't know a few minutes after we filmed this video the shaft the shaft popped out and we were uh, we were good to go and you can see here we've already removed the uh, packing gland parts off of the shaft here and the shaft looked pretty good i think it's going to clean up just fine but the next thing to do is for us to take the uh, transmission off of the engine and that's something we'll have upcoming in one of our other uh, video shorts here soon uh, hopefully and uh, the other thing we checked here we were interested in seeing when we started this part of the project we were curious to know what the the packing gland looked like on the inside although it didn't leak when we were in the water we were curious to know, was there much packing left in, in the fitting? And uh, there was. Uh, I don't know. If, I think it's pretty worn. And you can see this part is 
is corroded and nasty looking and it will have to be replaced when we put the new engine in.